Remember that all these people are your people. If you destroy your nation, you'll ha don't ha you won't have a nation to rule over. We're asking you to change your stance, develop a reconciliatory stance, bring your people together, and ensure that you can heal this nation as one. Let justice be our shield and defender. I'll allow one of my council members to also just give you a preview of the orders that we have since received this afternoon. Thank you, uh, thank you Madam President. As you are aware, the Law Society has instituted several matters before our courts since the demonstrations last week on Tuesday and on Thursday and culminating into the demonstrations yesterday. We have currently five matters in court instituted by the Law Society of Kenya. Matters, uh, the first case is against the abductions that are ongoing. The second one is against the police brutality. You are aware a uh, number of uh, Kenyan citizens were involved uh, in the shootings and they were injured. We have a petition currently in court against that. We have a petition against the decision of the cabinet secretary yesterday deploying the military uh, to assist the police in civil, in, in, in protection of the country as per the Gazette notice. The court this afternoon has issued orders suspending the said Gazette notice. At the same time, declaring the same to be against the law, and in the interim, the declarative by the Cabinet Secretary, uh, Minister of Defense, has been set aside pending the hearing of the case that the Law Society has filed. We are following up on the numerous matters that the Law Society has filed. We shall be able to report as and when the court give directions over the same. Thank you so much. Now we are open for questions. So we had reported about 10 that had been abducted, and we are aware that um, quite a number were released, some are still missing. Um, we, Frankie, Frankie and Harriet were released yesterday. I got calls from their family members saying that they, are, they were, Frankie was found in a forest, in, he, was, he was dropped off at a forest, um, and he was able to call. Um, Harriet was dropped off in Parklands. Um, Ernest and uh, Nadia were dropped off um, someplace in Karen, and they found a good Samaritan who dropped them to KSL. Um, Dr. Omondi said he, wa he didn't know where he was as well, and he was thrown out of a truck. Um, Billy as well was found around Mutaiga. So those are part of the reports that we have had. Shad as well was freed. He just indicated, uh, posted to his friends that he was freed as well. Oguda. Oguda as well, we were able to trace him today at Kajiado Courts. And they wanted to move him again, but we insisted they had to either charge him or release him. And the DPP was not willing to press charges, and he was released and he's safe. So those are the ones that we have since been able to get reports of their whereabouts. Yes. Well, I think that's why we are calling upon the president that this, that was not a presidential uh, speech at all. I think as, a, as the father of the nation, he needs to look at the mood. This was not, it was like a bubble waiting to explode. The people have tried to reach to him. People have been chanting to him, writing to him on social media, writing to his handle. Have, um, as the Law Society, we also presented a petition. And the reality is, 
if even if you want to say it was a treasonous act, these people had given indication that they are going must go. But the reality is because they feel that he was not addressing the wound, he was not addressing the question. I think the president needs to address the problem and he will be able to heal the nation again. Because people are saying in not uncertain terms that they are unable to make a living. People are saying that people are not living on one dollar a day. People are living in a dollar in two or three days. People are going hungry in their households and they're asking him to listen to their plight. At the backdrop of the, the wanton corruption and wastage that is happening at the state house, at his government, at the ministries, people are showing the way they are affluent, they can spend a lot of money. It is an affront and it's inhumane and cruel to show people who can barely put food on their table that you can spend money the way you want. People are asking for money for education, to buffer those who cannot afford. And so my advice to the head of state is that to deal with the real issues that are there and then to find that the people are not per se against him. People are, are against the finance bill, people are against uh, attempts to make the lives that are already difficult impossible. Any other questions? Yes? Well, the, the, as long as they have given notice of where they're going to protest and how they're going to protest, they still have a right to exercise their peaceful uh, protest. A peaceful protest is allowed. I think um, the challenge that we have right now is that the country is already highly inflamed. We have lost a lot of our loved ones. I would say it's it's... It's a painful task to do, seeing the number of people that have since died. Um, my, I, would, I would say that as a nation, it's time to rethink, reset, and try to work a different way forward. Um, just by the number of people that was, were killed yesterday, I would, I would say we, we need to rethink and the kind of uh, bravado that we are seeing from our police officers. I would, I would advocate to save more lives and that tomorrow they don't come out in great numbers. But as long as they have given proper notice of where they want to uh, open or to only share uh, the, their concerns that they have, then they have the right to peacefully protest. Okay, thank you. Thank you for your statement. Come on, Shaka. Come on, Shaka. Come on, Shaka.